I just finished my last final! I don't know what that was. I don't know what that dance move was. Um, also, yes, this is my dorm room. Change of scenery. I couldn't film at home this weekend. We're just dealing with that. Cutting in here because I forgot to do an intro. Hey, what's up? How are we today? It's Mebby, and this is the most scuffed video ever. <laughs> anyway, if there's anything that summarizes our culture in a beautiful and somewhat concerning manner, it's fan fiction. Fan fiction is basically someone who wants to write something about their favorite universe, characters, people, content creators, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't even have to be really related to anything. But there are so many aspects and webs of fan fiction, and some fan fiction is really freaking good. I mean, they make movies based off of fan fiction now. Princess of Genovia, who? She's dating Harry Styles. And I think it's really cool how fan fiction has evolved in recent years. Even though it seems like something like, oh, it's kind of stupid, it's not. These people take their art very seriously. You'll go down to the author's note of a fan fiction, their house burned down, their dog died, they were in the hospital, and they still got that chapter out that week, okay? Truly are the people who remain the most determined when facing adversity. That being said, there are some odd fan fictions out there. And I tried to film a video yesterday, didn't go the way I wanted. I was thinking, what do I do? And someone commented on my YouTube video Video, read Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan fictions. And you know what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. Now, I personally wasn't allowed to watch or read Diary of the Wimpy Kid, so I never got into that. So although we have one Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan fiction on our list, we're gonna go through a little list I compiled of other odd fan fictions. Now, I just wanna preface this video by saying I am not making fun of fanfic writers. I think they are genuinely really talented. I love writing. I think it is one of the most important skills we as a society have. And I know that fan fiction helps a lot of people. It can be like such a good stress reliever and such a comfort for a lot of people. So I'm absolutely not making fun of fanfic writers. I'm mainly reading either ones that are kind of wild or ones that are kind of horny. <laughs> um, so like there's a difference I think between kind of crazy ones and the like more like this is serious ones. So I respect fan fiction authors and shout out to all the people who wrote the fan fictions we're about to read. So let's get right into these fanfics. Let's get to reading. So the first thing we see when we go on this website is craving her is a sin. So that's fun. It's, it also says welcome home. Well, welcome, welcome home, home. Wattpad, Wattpad is my home. home. Now I'm going on Wattpad because there's a difference between Wattpad and AO3. If I wanna find more wild, crazy crack fix, I'm gonna go to Wattpad, right? If I wanna find art that will make me cry in my bed at 3 a.m., then we're going to AO3, okay? There's a difference, guys. So just because of the genre of fictions that I'm looking for, we're going to Wattpad. So I compiled this list, this very, look, look how, look how exact this list is. I compiled this list of fan fictions to read and I decided to pay tribute to what got me to where I am today which is the trolls. So we're gonna look at a trolls fan fiction called Trolls 2 Depression. Honestly, me too. This fiction is by I Ship Proppy Forever and it has 15.3K reads, which is crazy. That's probably more views than this video is gonna get. And it takes 18 minutes to read. So I don't know if you're gonna read the whole thing, but we're gonna we're gonna do a little quick speed run of it. Also, I will say, I heard a little birdie told me in my comments once on my trolls video. Apparently some people felt offended and I'm sorry for that. But someone in my comments told me that people were making fun of me on Wattpad. I have not found the traces of the people apparently bullying me on Wattpad. However, I would love to see it because I think a whole section of Wattpad making fun of me is honestly my claim to fame because otherwise if you look up Mebby on Wattpad you will get the ship name. There's a ship called Mebby. That's not me guys. I am not two men who are in love with each other unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, that being said, let's just get into reading Trolls 2 Depression. Poppy and Branch are a happy couple. However, Creek returns when Poppy and Branch are away and or are a away and casts a spell on the whole tree. The spell making everyone absolutely hate Poppy for something that Creek was gonna do. Creek murders King Peppy, leaves without a trace. Heartbroken, she leaves the troll tree, goes off to the woods. The process turning so gray that even Branch singing true colors won't make her pink again. No! With all the emotions of sadness, depression, and fear setting, Creek kidnaps her to take his revenge and tries to murder her. Can Branch save her before she's killed? You know what? Oh my god. Okay, this is like so many chapters. I feel like we got the whole plot with that. Like we got the whole exposition there. So I feel like we should we should just go with chapter four. Everybody hates Poppy. It was the day of the funeral. Okay, I'm assuming this is after King Pepe just got murdered. Poppy hadn't left her house ever since she found her dad's corpse. She what? I probably should have read the other chapters. She was so sad and so angry at who did that to him. She knew that she and her friends would find out who did this, but little did she know that all of her friends think it's her. No! no! The casket lowered into the ground, Pe 
Poppy was also was so overcome with emotion, her tears fell on the branch's shoulder. Then behind her, the snack pack walked up. We know you did this, said Pinky. <laughs> Imagine James Corden walking up to you and being like, we know you did this. We know you did this. And then he humps his like rat into your face. Do you guys know that video? That video is a traumatizing video, okay? And I can't get it out of my head. It's been two years. <laughs> We all know you did this, said the fashion twins. Poppy looked at them in disbelief. She got up and ran to her house, sobbing so much she left a trail of tears. Branch snapped at the snack pack in anger. He shook his head in frustration and went to Poppy. You really think they're serious? Branch asked. Poppy replied, I don't know, Branch. It's one thing losing your father, but it's another losing your childhood friends. Poppy, no matter what, I'll always be your friend. Don't ever forget that. Aww. I just need some alone time, Poppy said, still crying. Anything for you, love. Branch replied, hugging her, leaving the room. Y'all, if Branch called me love, <laughs> if Justin Timberlake called me love, <laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm ki guys, I'm kidding. My friend's here. I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi. I had to pick her up, but I was in the middle of my trolls fan fiction. <laughs> that night, Poppy tried to sleep, hoping that this was all a dream. Okay, so her Wait, father- kiss me up, kiss me So up. Creek Creek is the evil troll, right? He came back, killed her father, and made everyone think that she was doing it. Made everyone think that she was the one killing her dad. And then all of her friends think she killed her dad except Branch. And so now she's crying because all of her friends think she killed her own father. That night, Poppy tried to sleep, <laughs> hoping that this was all a dream, but she couldn't. She was so overcome with grief and sadness that all she could do was stare at the ceiling. She overheard a few other trolls talking outside her window. window. You heard- <laughs> Winder. Talking outside the window. <laughs> you heard what Queen Poppy did? She murdered her father, one of them said. She is the worst leader the trolls have ever known. Hearing these harsh words, Poppy's eyes filled up with tears again. She got out of bed, packed a backpack, put on her jacket as it was cold that night. That's, n that's a necessity. On the outskirts, skirts of Bergen Town, Poppy turned around and looked back at the kingdom. She cheered up once again and said to herself, what do I do? She walked further and further away from the town and started to sing a song in the end by Linkin Park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> once she closed up the song, she sat down by the river and turned gray. I think that was enough of that fan fiction. That one got a little dramatic. Let's go to a sexy trolls fan fiction. No. <laughs> Let's find a branch X reader fan fiction. That's what I need. Because that's what like the people want. Not because like that's what I need, but that's like that's what the people want to see. Like that, sure, not sure, because sure. that's what I need. Let's go with this quick 14 minute one branch X reader fanfic. Thank you for clarifying that. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen to these chapters. His smile. Is he gonna make a move or what? Oh. Explain him the way he moves. Extreme smut. Don't read that, don't read that. That's not safe for work. Okay, listen, roommates, let's start with his smile. He's so handsome. His gorgeous hair and his perfect skin, my favorite colors. He's perfect. They'll never want me. A sad, lonely, depressed troll with no future. I have colors, but they mean nothing to me. I hate parties. I don't go out. What's there to love? But the way he looks at me, oh God, the butterflies never go away. I'm sitting on the bench across from him, watching him mingle with his friends. He keeps glancing at me and smiling, yet he doesn't come over to me. Suddenly I get a text, unknown number. Hey, your name, meet me at the bathrooms. <laughs> There's the smile. Ah! Who was it from? I glanced up to see Branch flex his muscles and head to the bathrooms. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> hey, your name, he says softly. Hey, Branch, I say shaking as he waves for me to come closer. I walk to him and then only then does he make a move. He stands tall, uncrosses his arm, and grabs my hand only to pin me on the wall. His vest is half <laughs> open and I can't help but look down. I was oh embarrassed. My oh my God, I say out loud. That's what I'm saying. Saying. Without word, we make eye contact and he smiles. He soon then pushes himself off a wall and stands up. I know you like me. I just don't know why a beautiful girl like you would have a crush on an asshole like me. I don't know. You're really nice. And I, I trail off as he licks his lips. Ah! Ah! Ick! 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 Hey. She's beautiful. I, this is Branch's POV, okay? okay? She's beautiful, I think to myself as I walk toward her again. I blush as she crouches, probably scared of me since she's so small. Ew. Small girl, smart girl, and large boy. Small girl, 
I'm not a boy. I'm gonna flip through a crack. When she's standing, I look around to make sure no one was watching. Then I gently pull on the bottom of her chin, making her open her mouth. <laughs> I close my eyes and place my lips on her, being careful as she flinches. Slowly slide in my tongue and we hit her on her mouth. <laughs> She responds to me by letting out a soft moan. No! I open my eyes to see a tear roll down her face. She's so scared, but I can tell she loves every second of no! it. Red flag! No! Red flag! What the f- Pop Wait, is that Poppy or that someone else? No, this is some random girl. He's cheating on Poppy. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god, he kissed me. My mind raced so fast as I pushed him away. I didn't mean to push him. I was just scared. His friends, I noticed, had left. The party was dying down. He walked back and pulled me off the wall. Do you want to stay at my place, he asked? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, I mean... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I replied quickly, embarrassed at what I said to him. His offer was very kind. I hated how small my pod was. Oh, that's your house. Okay. Trolls translation. Thank you so much for letting me stay with you, Branch. I tell him as I walk to his place. You're a very good kisser, by the way, I mumble. He looks down at me with his glowing eyes. I'm scared. All I know is the way he looked at me tells me his plans for tonight, and I'm excited. I'm not. Are you sending me Instagram reels right now? I sent you, you a Michael Sarah meme. I think we go straight to the extreme smut one. I'm not gonna read it out loud. Hi. <laughs> Little bit of a costume change, if you can't tell. I was disturbed, to say the least, by that last story. I read some things that I never thought I would have to read, to be honest, uh, coming from an ca animated character played by Justin Timberlake. Actually, it's, it's kind of fitting. That being said, I apologize for the lack of continuity. We're gonna carry on though. I had, I had to take a little break, but now we're getting right back into it. We have a few more fan fictions to address. One that I was very excited to read was Getting Spicy with the Onceler. A tragedy. What could this hold? Well, let's get right into this story. He looks really sad. He actually looks very sad. I feel kind of bad for him. The Onceler, a young and spicy man, had everything he could ever ask for. He had fame, money, money. but he had no lover. That was until you came along. Carrying your fat buddhisi and thick booty cheeks. Help? Let's go with part one, madly in love. The Onceler had once lived a simple life. He used to be content. He used to know what the word happy meant. That was until a small orange creature with a fat buddhisi came along, seducing him with his smooth words and silky mustache. He was known as the Lorax, famous, <laughs> famous for having with the fluffy trees that used to surround the lands. But because of his constant intercourse with the trees, the trees dropped dead one by one, leaving nothing behind. Now the Onceler had heard of the horrible tales of what the Lorax had done, but the Onceler saw him with his own light blue eyes and had fallen. That's right, the <laughs> Onceler had fallen madly in love with the Lorax. Next part. The Onceler thought he was destined to be forever alone with what happened to him. He never thought he could find somebody with a fatter buddhisi than the Lorax. Did the Lorax die? I don't know what happened between then and now. That was until he saw you. You were a shining young man with an enormously fat <laughs> You had beautiful thick hair that covered your enormous forehead perfectly. Shut the f*** up. You could be described as thick, and best of all, you had a mammoth of a buddhisi stretching down the to the floor as you walked. I don't I, I don't, don't like this. <laughs> when the Onceler set his eyes on you, something sparked in his body. It was almost an animalistic feeling which lit him on fire. He needed that buddhisi. Oh my god. Let's check out some of the comments. Time to look at my comments. Aw oh, man. <laughs> what the actual f jumps out of window. Right. Right. Um, um, that was a traumatizing story. That was traumatized. I didn't like that. I have one more on my list at the moment and I'm doing it because someone told me to read a diary of a wimpy kid fan fiction. But again, I wasn't allowed to watch that or read it growing up. So I'm going in kind of blind. I chose diary of a wimpy kid squid game because I wanted to know if someone's going to die in this okay there is that a gun there's a gun being put to greg's head right now 
description. Life's amazing until Greg entered the Squid Games. Will he be able to win the jackpot or feel death? Let's start. Monday morning. Life is amazing. Roderick had been shipped off to military school, which is great. But a letter came to me in the mail and said it was for me, so I checked it out. I was shocked. It was a card from the Squid Games. The jackpot was about a few billion dollars, which is awesome, but I'm not willing to kill myself for a few billion dollars. But anyway, I made a stupid move and joined the Squid Games. No, I'm not gonna kill myself for this. But I am! <laughs> Tuesday, start of Squid Games. The first game was the red light, green light. We started the first game, and believe me, I am not ready. <laughs> and believe me, I was unprepared. <laughs> I actually can't watch Squid Games because I watched the um, red light, green light scene while like my parents were watching it, and I felt so physically sick, like I was about to have a panic attack and had to lay down in my room. So, I can't watch it. Okay, continuing. When the games were over, I was shocked. I got through to the second game. Today was the second game, and we had no clue what it is. I noticed R Rowley was playing as well. Is that... I think that's that one. When we started, the game was honeycombs. They said we only have 10 minutes to cut out our honey with a needle. They took that too far. Right. Well, the third game is Tug of War. I always tried playing that as a kid, but I could never get the hang of it. When we played, I immediately picked Roderick and Rowley because I didn't need to go against them and have to kill them. <laughs> I was pulling so hard that I could literally feel my muscles. Like, no lie. So, I've never read Diary of the Wimpy Kid. Is this how it's written? Is he like, like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, what are, what are we? Literally, I don't know what it, it reads like. I'm assuming it is. Or this person just watched far too many Disney Channel coming of age movies in the 2000s. When we finished that game, I was exhausted, but Roderick seemed to now the fourth game. He must have secretly watched the Squid Game when mom and dad said we were not allowed to watch it, so he must have known the games from the start. So Squid Games, the TV show, is canon in this universe, and then they decide to make the TV show a real thing, even though it involves killing many people. And they're getting minors to participate in it, which is a whole other thing. Friday, the fifth game, the glass stepping stones. I know this one. Luckily, I picked number 16 because if I didn't, I would have been dead. When I finally completed the fifth game, I felt a huge sense of accomplishment. He's just getting lucky. Saturday, the final game. It was just me and Rowley. Luckily, I had drawn a page of that experience before just to pretend I was in the squid game. I... I don't know what that sentence means. Okay, Sunday. Today's the last day I'm ready to play the game. The guards took me and Rally to the room where we would be playing the infamous squid game. Just kidding, we're doing a 1v1. Me and Rally both got a pistol. Greg, I need to confess I need that money. Rally, Rally, Rally. Uh, yeah, I need to know what happens next. Well, that was a pretty sad ending. I ended up shooting Rally in the head while I won the prize money. Oh my god oh and that's that's a that was actually kind of traumatizing <laughs> i'm crying i like they're <laughs> okay so to whoever suggested that i read fix like that what was what was that abba's lion hey babe are you doing okay you can tell me is everything okay <laughs> anyway i think with that we were really able to get a good grasp on all the basics of fan fiction on wattpad especially we got one with like some lore angst that was like expanding on a canon universe we got some frightening spicy <laughs> stuff <laughs> we got like crack fix spicy stuff that's like nothing is making sense like this is something you read when it's 3 a.m to sleep over it with your friends kind of and I'm not even going to talk about the diary of the Wimpy Kid fan fiction because that was traumatizing for me to be honest I think we've had enough I think we've had enough fan fiction for one day I'm gonna go enjoy my summer break I'm gonna pack up this room so I can move out and I'm gonna edit the sh of this video because it's currently Wednesday and this has to be out on Sunday morning So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you really did, leave a subscribe. If you haven't already, please do that. You guys should subscribe. You, get, you guys should subscribe. And I love you. I love you a lot. So much. Okay, bye. By the way, if any of you guys ever write a Mebby fanfiction or you guys find a Mebby fanfiction, you send that to me. Okay? Okay, glad we have that covered. Bye. Oh. Did you guys see that? That was lightning. Guys, I'm really scared. I'm scared, guys. Okay, bye.